Guys, it's here. It's finally here. What's up, dreamers? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to City Skylines 2. This is my first video and my first experience of City Skylines 2. I just loaded up the game for the first time and we're about to experience it together. So a bit of a disclaimer, I did not have early access or anything like that and I haven't watched any videos from other content creators. I really wanted to go into this with a fresh mind and a fresh experience. Now to start off with, I want to go into the options and kind of just check out what we've got. So I'm currently using an AMD RX 6800 XT. Now I have seen a lot of discourse on Discord and a little bit on Reddit when it comes to what's going on with AMD graphics cards. I really hope that I'm not going to have a problem. Um, I might, but I guess we're going to find out together. I'm going to leave everything on the highest settings for now. I'm going to get in the game. I'm going to see if it crashes the game. I'm going to see if the game is able to even function and potentially we're going to lower it down. All right, so let's start a new game. So I'm going to pick a new map and probably today I'm just going to build a small little city, go over a little bit of the features and just test everything out. So looking at all the different maps, I think I'm going to go with this one that's kind of like uh, Archipelago or some islands. I think it looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of like the Florida Keys. And we'll go ahead and name it that. And again, this is just my test map. I'm an American, so for this build, we are going to set it to North American build. Uh, keep it off left hand traffic. For now, I'm going to turn off natural disasters. Uh, I don't want to unlock anything. Um, I'm going to turn off the tutorial because I want to go in there and just kind of see it for myself. Okay, we are in game. Wow, this is pretty cool. So I haven't done anything. This is like the start, I guess. It comes basically pre-built. So going back into the settings. I did go ahead and um, I disabled depth of field. And I disabled the dynamic resolution. I also turned off uh, V-Sync. So I think that those things are probably going to help. We'll definitely take a look at it. Um, but right now it's looking okay. I am getting some funny lines here with the shadows. But it is looking all right. And I'm not getting any frame drops. However, I still haven't built anything. So we're going to see how that goes. All right, so to begin this, I just want to kind of get used to some of the tools. So I'm just going to build a small little city uh, or a little town really fast. And then I'm going to kind of talk about the different features and the road tools that I like. All right, so I just laid down a whole bunch of roads and I tried to use all the different new road tools and I quite like them. So the, I mean, the curve tool is basically the same. And then we've got this new one, which is the complex curve tool, which has a defined start and middle point bin. And then again, for the endpoint. So basically what I understand that to be is kind of a mix between the continuous and the simple curve tool. And I kind of like that. I think it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, I also went in with the grid mode. I set, I made a little grid that I just wanted to try that out. That's that's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. Um, yeah. And then another feature that I, I love that this has just built into the game is it tells you the degree of your angle of your road as well as the slope of the road. And I really like that. It also gives you the distance of the road that you're making. This is basically the mod precision engineering built right into the game, which is pretty awesome. All right, let's throw down some zoning. All right, so I got the notification saying, hey, you don't have power. To be fair, I'm used to playing a very modded City Skylines 1, and I kind of take care of my power in other ways. So I got to remember, hey, I need to probably put down some power, some sewage, and all the other basic necessities before I start building everything. So let me do that really fast. Let's look at our options. So I guess for producing power, we have the wind turbine, the small coal power plant, 
and for right now that's pretty much our only options that's pretty typical i think for most city builders at the very beginning of the game so i think for right now we are actually going to go with the small coal power plant uh just because it does provide a little bit extra now i wonder if i need to build on top of the groundwater deposit okay no so what that is saying is basically is hey don't build here because that's where clean water is that's kind of like sim city 2013 wow that's a that's a really good looking power plant i might need to turn down some of these shadows because they're kind of doing some weird things so let me hop into the settings real quick and see if i can fix that all right so i did go and play around a little bit with the settings i'm still not loving what i'm seeing uh i'm just gonna have to keep working with it and probably look up some things to see what other people are doing to get the game to look a little bit better maybe it's just my graphics card i don't know we'll see but we're gonna keep going for now so i've got power i want to just throw in some quick water and we're probably just gonna go with a water tower for now and i guess this needs to be built on clean water however i am not seeing it show up which is strange but for now we're gonna put it right here so i understand that piping goes to the road so we're just gonna go ahead and connect it on up to the road here and then another thing that i need to do is add sewage so i guess this is uh just like uh back in city skylines one dump in the sewage downstream into the water so put it here and then connect it up with sewage i will say the game does feel a lot like we have anarchy kind of built into it so that's really nice it's letting me do pretty much everything that i've tried to do so far i do like the lines that are like built into like these assets i think they look really good the the pre-built or the pre like lines and then the yellow lines on the roads i think they look really nice as well so let's let the simulation run for a minute okay that's awesome we upgraded to a tiny village all right here we are so as we talk a little bit about the game uh i wanted to go ahead and add in just a little bit of industrial zoning and then we can just talk about it cool so initially like i'm seeing definite uh issues with my graphics um i'm probably gonna have to figure that out uh here pretty soon because it doesn't look great in terms of graphics and it's not running super smooth uh i'm probably going to have to lower a lot of the settings i did set things a lot of things to medium and it's still struggling to say the least um probably gonna have to turn that down to medium as well as texture quality which is unfortunate because I don't think that looks super great to be honest, which I'm a bit bummed because I'm able to run City Skylines 1 and it looks absolutely awesome. So I don't know, maybe there'll be more updates and maybe I just need to play around with the settings a little bit more, but yeah, right now this is what my game looks like. And you can compare it to my other videos from City Skylines 1. It's the same graphics card, it's the same system. So yeah, uh, we'll, we'll keep playing with it um but in terms of the game you know besides graphically like the, the assets look they look great they look awesome not a huge fan of the signs uh lacks a little bit of realism but the like the parking lots that are like built in for these assets they're fantastic they're so much better than what they were like in city skylines one and i think that's fantastic so let's look at some of these residential homes yeah they, i mean they look good I, I wouldn't say that these are north american as a North American myself, I think that these don't look too American. But again, you know, it's still very base vanilla game. Um, I don't really like the tripper thing, but that's just me. That That's my own personal preference. These are some of my, my first impressions. Let me speed this simulation up so we can get these. I want to I wanna look at some of the uh, industrial assets. But first impressions, I think this is a good game. I think it's gonna be a good game but i am very concerned about the performance and graphics 
I'm able to move pretty well without any frame drops. But again, look, the population is still only 135 people. Imagine what this what it's going to be like with the huge city. So let's hop out of the game and kind of talk a little bit about my final thoughts. All right, let's start with the good. Number one, it's a brand new game. I am so excited to be playing something different from just City Skylines 1. This is gonna bring new creativity and new elements to my gameplay and the things that I'm going to make, especially for here on the channel. Number two, I think that for a vanilla game, it looks pretty dang good. The assets are more detailed. There's more bushes. There's more fine detail within each asset, like the lines and the power plant or the parking lots in the commercial zoning. I think that these are great updates to the game and great new features. Number three, I really liked the new road tools. I like the way that the road works, how it's basically like precision engineering without having to need the mod. I love how you can just run roads over other roads and they automatically snap and connect. I think that this is going to eventually make things a lot easier when building and you're gonna need less mods, which hopefully will help performance eventually. The last thing that I'm going to talk about, but certainly not the last thing that there is to say about this game, just over my first impressions, I had fun playing the game, and I think that's really important. Okay, let's talk about the bad. The big elephant in the room is performance and graphics. I think that with updates, that's going to come, and I think it's going to get better, and I sure do hope so. There's a lot of people who are talking about it on the platforms, and I know that the devs are seeing this and hopefully they're going to be making adjustments and eventually we're going to get a better outcome. Just to reiterate, I have a RX 6800 XT. It's not the worst of graphics card. It's a $500 GPU and it runs things like Microsoft Flight Sim and City Skylines 1 pretty dang well. So I really hope to see improvement in this area. Number two, it can maybe be a little complicated for newer players. Now, I didn't go in and mess with many of the features. As a matter of fact, in this video, I hardly did anything. That being said, I could see how I was getting confused at a few little things, and I had to make sure that I was reading and keeping up. Therefore, I think extensively, this could be a bit of a challenge. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Some people want to go in and learn a new game and experience the challenge. I know that I'm actually looking forward to it, but I think for some, the level of difficulty could or could not be a negative. And all of that being said, I really enjoyed playing the game today and I cannot wait to expand on to what I'm going to do with this game. So for the future, I have a couple of ideas what I'm gonna be doing for the channel, specifically here in City Skylines 2. If you've watched my channel a little bit or you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I like to add a story to the build. I love having a lore tell the story of how I'm going to build the city. So I've already written out most of the beginning, the starting of my first city here in City Skylines 2. And here in the new future, I'm going to be posting my first video of my first city and how that city came to be. I'm really excited for it and it's gonna be up on the channel here pretty soon. And if you guys are interested in that and you wanna see it, subscribe to the channel. That being said, there's tons of things that I've left out in this video. I didn't want to add too much. I wanted to keep it pretty basic. So that being said, I really appreciate you guys watching and we will see you in the next one.